We'd like to welcome to the platform Josh Haynes, our Regional Sales Director for Empower. In his role, he is responsible for consulting and collaborating with advisors, third-party administrators, and registered investment advisors in Colorado and Wyoming to help them gain and retain retirement plan business. Also hiking in to be with us today is Mike Albertsmeyer, our very own Definity Regional Sales Consultant in the Rocky Mountain Territory. Michael has been in the retirement plan space since 2008 when he started his career with Oppenheimer Funds. He then moved to the record keeping sales desk at Transamerica in 2013 and transitioned to the compliance and administration side of the business in 2018. Now at Definity, Michael helps business owners design plans that work for their employees as well as their business. They are both here today to talk about how Empower and Definity can team up to help you win. Gentlemen, the floor is yours. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy. Um, thank you to everyone who's joined us today. Josh, thank you. I know that there's probably not anywhere else you'd rather spend your birthday then right here with us. So let me be the first to wish you happy birthday. Oh, well, thank you very much. Yeah, definitely. Happy to be here. <laughs> so um, as you could tell um, by what Sandy said about Josh, he is uh, no stranger to the qualified plan space. He's been a great partner um, and a resource for me. And I think that today we're going to share some ideas with, well, one big idea with you on how we've been working together to bring something different to um, to our advisors that we work with, as well as the plan sponsors that we work with. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna just tell you a little bit about what we did and then some of the success we experienced from it. Um, in fact, it was so popular that we are taking it on the road. At the beginning of next year, we're gonna go do an event up in Fort Collins and one down in Colorado Springs. Um, words out, people want to want to partner with us because of these events. So um, basically what we did is Josh, uh, myself, and we did bring in another record-keeping partner, uh, Ben Englehart with Voya. I'll touch on that here in a minute because I know some of you might be confused about that. Um, we hosted a lunch event for advisors and plan sponsors where we covered the topic of planned considerations um, during mergers and acquisition activity. So um, specifically the considerations, you know, for the plan before, during, and after. Um, so together, Josh, Ben, and myself brought in Brooke Cozart. She is a respected ERISA attorney here in Denver with Harlow and Falk. And we brought her in to help us with the event. Um, in full disclosure, she did all of the heavy lifting. She put the presentation together. She gave the presentation to our audience. Um, and she did a fast, fantastic job of keeping the room engaged for the better part of an hour. Um, we received great feedback from all of the attendees about Brooke and how they loved that topic and how they especially loved that it was not Secure 2.0. So um, basically how we handle the logistics of putting an event like this together, you know, we're working with three different representatives from the retirement side of the business and an attorney. So there was a lot of logistical planning that went into this. Um, and so, as you guys know, getting a group of financial professionals together in a room can be like herding cats. So we had to make sure it was worth their time. Um, we did that by offering good food and even better content. Um, we chose a local food hall that had an event space that could accommodate everyone that we wanted to come to the event. So um, how did we pull it off? This is pretty pretty good plan, but you know, it's I want to share it with you guys. Um, first, Brooke, like I mentioned, she did the heavy lifting. She put together an amazing presentation. Um, we divvied up some of the work. So Josh found us a great location. They had good food, ample room for everyone to you know sit comfortably and eat while while Brooke presented. They had the technology that allowed us to <clears throat> present to a large room. So it had you know speakers. It had the screens for her slides. Um, it was a great place to host the event. In addition to that, um, Josh is a staple in the Denver retirement space, and he, he knows a lot of people. So we brought in a couple of uh, the DCIO partners that he works with from Invesco and Morningstar. So that we brought them in to help offset the cost a little bit. Um, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank the Definity marketing team who's putting on the Retirement Academy today. They... Um, helped me with invitations and they gave us a landing page 
so that you know it was easy for Josh and I to easily look and see who's registered, who do we need to follow up with, and it really allowed us to focus our energy on getting uh, the people we wanted to the event to get to the event. Um, so the next thing that Josh did that was super helpful, and Ben did this as well, I know he's not here for us to give him a shout out, but I wanna make sure I do. Um, they were wonderful partners to me. I'm relatively new to this space and I'm trying to you know, get in front of as many advisors as I can. So Josh and Ben shared a list of their advisors that they work with. Um, and that really helped me as far as you know, coordinating efforts on driving the attendance, as well as knowing who was gonna be in the room. Um, so since I've been talking for a while, I'm gonna give Josh a few minutes to talk here about the last thing that I mentioned, sharing a list of advisors. Um, this is a two-part question for you, Josh. You ready? I'm ready. Perfect. Yeah. So first, why, you know, Ben with Voya was there with us. Why would you want your competition to know who you're working with? Yeah, well, that's a, that's a great question. I will tell you every territory is a little bit different. Um, and uh, thank you for all of you that are on here. Thank you for the opportunity. But real quick, it's, listen, we want to provide the best value to our advisors here in Colorado. Ben has that mindset, I have that mindset, you have that mindset, um, and our local fund partners have that mindset. So we can all do our different things, and you're gonna get an email from Definity and Boya and, and Invesco and, and Empower, and, and you're gonna get an invite once a week, or we can join forces, work with Definity, work with Boya, work with our fund partners, work with a Brooke Kozor, and say, what are advisors asking for? What are advisors talking about today? And then put that event on and make it a much bigger event. And I will tell you, fund partners love having numerous record keepers in there because, um, you know, they, everyone has budgets and we're working to stay within those budgets. And when numerous record keepers are in there, they appreciate it. Uh, and in turn, we're all calling on the same individuals for the most part. And so for you, the advisor, we want to provide the best value um, at the best time and what it is that you want to hear about. Perfect. Well, I said it was a two-part question, but you already addressed the second part. You're good. Yeah. I was going to ask you why it's a good a good idea to have, you know, what's perceived as competition in the room with us, but I think you nailed that perfectly. Um, and then one more follow-up on the topic here. Um, when we do an event like this, what do you hope that these advisors take away um, from seeing, not so much the content, we'll get to that, but what do you hope that they take away from seeing you partner with another record keeper to host an event like this? Yeah, listen, so I, I was a financial advisor back in the day before I got into this side of the business. So I know what it's like. Um, uh, ben knows what it's like. A lot of us has kind of been on the, your, in your shoes, right? You need to know a lot about a little, then you need a little bit a lot. So what we're trying to do is bring you the most um, applicable, most um, up-to-date um, items that you would like to hear about. And at the end of the day, I've never sold, you know, we're not, I'm not up there selling in power or Ben's not up there selling in Voya. So again, joining forces, coming together to provide the best um, uh, outcome, which is making sure the advisors leave with great points that they can take back immediately to their employers. And in this case, around mergers and acquisitions, it was very well received. Advisors, as you remember, Michael, the advisors stayed later asking questions. There were some follow-up emails back and forth. So again, it was a very timely uh, session that uh, they now have access and, and, and the name of an ERISA attorney who specializes around mergers and acquisitions. And I might add too, just for the audience, she was a former ERISA attorney with Definity, so she's definitely a little friendly with us. So we love her and we appreciate her. her she's really that. good. She's really good. Yeah. Definitely. Well, you're doing a great job answering these questions so far. Do you mind if I throw a few more your way? Fire away. Perfect. Um, and definitely let me know if this is starting to feel like the Inquisition. I can take it easy on you. So <laughs> oh, you're good. You're good. Um, so we're we're in a pretty crowded space. There's a lot of people out there vying for business in the retirement space. So what what do you, I guess, with Empower and yourself, what do you do to try to separate yourself from the pack? What is it that you know makes people want to work with Josh? Yeah. So covering Colorado and Wyoming. Uh, as I as I, I've given you a little background and don't have time to go through it all, but I've sat in advisor shoes. I was a financial advisor um, for four to five years, and I know I know I know what it's like. And so, what advisors are looking for from me is honesty, 
integrity and where and power fits, right? And I'll be the first to tell advisors that where we fit and where we don't fit. And power is not the right solution for every single client. It doesn't matter if it's a startup or a large market, maybe that's stocks, cash balance, ESOP. I can keep going. But my point being, Empower has a fit and we have a niche and there are some other great record keepers out there. And I share with my advisors where we're a fit and sometimes where we're not a fit. Um, in fact, I know I've shocked a lot of advisors when I said, thank you for the opportunity. I'll quote it for you. But you know who you should talk to? You should talk to fill in the blank, Voya, because they have the capability to do something I don't have the capability to do. They're about throwing out of their chair because they're not getting that out there. But that's what how I like to pride myself being an advisor. I know what it's like. Uh, so I try to pride myself on making sure I'm the best value to any of the advisors and the partners I work with. That's a great answer. Thank you. Um, and then for all the advisors in the room, I know that a lot of them are at least familiar with the TPA because they're at our event today. But a lot of advisors, you know, they still believe that bundled's the way to go on everything. Um, so from your perspective here, what value does working with a good TPA bring to you and to the advisors in the room here with us? Yeah. So a couple of stats that I'll throw to you and then, and then answer the question um, or throw it to the audience is I think over, between 65 and 70 percent of all the plans that empower are on bundle. And when a plan is working with a third party administrator like Definity, there's a higher uh, deferral rate, meaning a lot of times the plan document is probably going to be a little bit tighter and a little bit better. So the expertise that plans get, that advisors get, that plans get with working with a TPA like a Definity, you know, I, we've got one right now, Michael, where it's 22 different divisions. Um, it is uh, it is a complicated, in, in, and I, I talked to the advisor, I was like, could we do this bundled? Absolutely, but you do not want to take this bundled. You want to have a dedicated TPA with the, with the possible mergers, acquisitions, ownership. You want the expert in the room sitting next to you. Otherwise, they're coming to you with those questions, right? Um, and so I just think the expertise alone is, um, I mean, to answer your question, expertise. Perfect. Well, thank you. And then um, I know that we're, I'm looking at the clock here as well, and I kind of want to keep us focused in respect of everyone's time here. So um, my last one for you here, um, if you were an advisor, which you were, but if you are, were one right now and you wanted to partner with Empower and Definity for an event, something like this, but maybe you had an idea for a different topic, what, what would the process look like of, you know, getting something like that moving? Yeah, I think it's, it's very simple. I would probably, I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is ask, ask. Right. Reach out to your affinity counterpart, your empower counterpart. Say you saw these two gentlemen and you have a great idea and you like to get something going. So if, if Michael mentioned the event that we did for advisors, 30 some odd um, advisors, but you can do advisor, you can do your own event. You can reach out to me and Affinity and let's find the top fund partners that you're using on your individual business or in your retirement plan business. And we can do this for your prospects and your current clients. A great idea would be like a fiduciary event where you get individuals like an empowered Affinity fund partners to do some of the speaking around fiduciaries. You invite all your current clients and then you write the prospects uh, into it. Reach out to us. We're happy to have this conversation. Uh, we're here to help you any way that we, that we can. Perfect. Thank you. Um, and then I'm going to circle back to Sandy here, who has been manning the microphone all day. Um, Sandy, do we do we have any questions that have come in from, from anyone in the uh, green room or I guess in the audience? Well, we have a few questions um, here. And then I think I'm just going to pick one, if you don't mind, just in the interest of time. Um, here's one that came through. Uh, what was what was your biggest takeaway? from working together to put on an event like this, where did it add value to you? Josh, would you like to go first or do you want me to give my swing at it first? You go ahead. Perfect, so um, it, it brought a ton of value to me. Um, it introduced me to a lot of new relationships here in my own backyard. Um, it also showed me that, you know, Josh kind of alluded to earlier working with multiple partners, at the end of the day, we are all in the same industry driving or hoping to drive good retirement outcomes for the clients you're working with. So I think that really what it is, it's not a competition. It's it's something where we can all work together and we all have a good place to fit in there. And so I think my biggest takeaway is that, 
you know, if given a chance to attend an event like this, you can walk away with knowledge that you didn't have. I mean, I, I didn't know anything about planned considerations for mergers and acquisition activity until Brooke gave us this presentation. So um, that, that's my takeaway. And, and Josh, I'll turn it over to you. Yeah, let's not be brief. Um, with the, the the value that is to me that I get is the value that the advisors get ultimately, right? As as they're they're our clients, um, and with thirty some individuals, we had twenty individuals sign up within like I think it was like twelve hours or something like that. So we knew it was a hot topic from talking to advisors, which is why we did it and why we're taking it on the road. But the value I get is providing the value to our advisors on topics that will help them out immediately in their business. Because when they do, then listen, you, they know that we're here to be a resource for them, uh, whether that be Definity or Voya or Empower or the fund partner. The value I get is really comes down to providing that value to the advisors. Perfect. Well, thank you, Josh. Thank you very much for your time today. We, we appreciate you. And thank you, Sandy, for My everything pleasure. you've done. You're welcome. And thank you so much. I, I'm sure that you've sparked a lot of creative ideas. I know my wheels are turning. And so maybe I can talk to some of you uh, later and we'll share some of the other questions that we have and the answers that you could provide to our attendees today, again, by email after the program. So again, thank you, Josh. And thank you, Michael, for being on today and for presenting at today's Retirement Academy.